how's it going everybody? I'm Matt from WebInc. Here at WebInc we talk about health, wealth, relationships, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We're in 2021. Everybody's getting back to work. If you're not already at work, um, if you're struggling with making a resume or just just getting back into it, and honestly, it is a nerve-wracking experience. The pandemic has brought on so many different feelings that I didn't even know I had. Um, but today's video, we're talking about five interview hacks that will get you the job of your dreams. Five, be prepared. They will know you before you get there. They have looked at your resume, they have looked at your social media, they have Google view, they, I mean, the, the things they can do nowadays before you even get there. So they know who you are for the most part. They may even have pre-judgments or pre-notions of who you are and what you're gonna be and whether or not they're even gonna hire you before you get there. So the important part is to represent who you are today, not who you were before, not what happened in your past, who you are today and the things you're doing daily in order to get to your dreams and your goals and how you can benefit that company. So just go in there prepared because they're prepared themselves. The more information and the more look up the company, figure out what they're about, uh, what their company motto is. I mean, just dive in so that when you go in there, you can almost do the same thing to them. Talk about, no more about the company than they know themselves. Be prepared it is absolutely important. It will be a massive step for you changing the the dynamic of the interview. And ask questions. Ask really, really, really important questions. Um, because honestly, someone doesn't want you to go there and just imagine, whatever, you just sit there and answer question, answer question, answer question. It doesn't seem like you're uh, fully in, immersed in the situation or involved. Um, so yeah, do your research. It's absolutely pivotal because they're doing the research on you. Four, know you. What do I mean, right? Know you. Uh, it is important to really, truly sit down and think about who you are, uh, what your strong suits are, what your weak parts are, um, the big moments in your life. Because they're going to ask you these questions. They're going to ask you in a moment in your life when something bad happened, how did you react and how did the situation turn out? Um, know, know whether you're a leader, you're a follower. I mean, you, well, I mean obviously you want to portray a sense of leadership. I mean, you don't want to go in there and pretend you're someone else. But at the end of the day, Know the questions that they're going to ask you and have the answers. Think about your past experience at other jobs and how, how it's gone and things you think that could have been different. Um, one big thing I learned was do not talk trash about your former employer no matter what they've done. Um, I mean you can maybe hint around the idea of it, especially if you left on bad terms. But do not talk trash about them because they think they will try, you will talk trash about them. Three, be ready for the test. I mean, let's be honest, the whole thing is a test at the end of the day. It's a pass or fail, whether you get hired or not hired. But also, some higher, higher up jobs, some of the jobs that you may want to pursue or maybe be your dream job are gonna have some, some tests there, whether it be a psychological test, evaluation of uh, who you are, uh, what, what type of personality, A type or introverted or whatever it may be. Or they may even have you try to I mean, I, I, I've been to a place and they gave me a box and they told me to um, put it together and it was a massively confusing box so it was not an easy test. So just go in there clear headed, don't go drinking out the night before, having fun, right? Like, oh yeah, I got this great job interview, right? Why celebrate your victories before you even had the victories? Um, so yeah, just be prepared for a test because there's a good chance if it's a good job, they're going to have a test whether it be a question, whether it be putting a box together, whether it be whatever, just be prepared. Being prepared is the most important thing in life. It is what makes people successful. The rich are rich and they stay rich because they're prepared for everything. Luck, the definition of luck, everything's luck is just something that just happens to you, right? By some whatever, mysterical, mysterious whatever. But really, if you look in the dictionary, the definition of luck is, uh, being prepared for opportunity. So really preparation is luck. So be prepared and just get at it. Two, be honest about your weaknesses. Um, don't go in there and sit there and go, well, I suck at this, I suck at that, I can't do this, I, uh, I can't lift it 50 pounds, I, 
uh, I got back problems and I'm, I'm probably going to claim workman's comp in a few months. I mean, let's just, I mean, let's be honest. Don't go in there and brag about all your faults because that just, yeah, that just will not work out. Um, don't talk about your last job and how you showed up 15 minutes late every single day, right? Because it wasn't a priority. It's because you hated your job. So just, yeah, don't, don't oversell your weaknesses. I mean, sometimes you gotta fake it till you make it, to be honest with you, but they don't want you to go in there and um, talk about how you're, you're a Superman. And last week you, yeah, you took on a whole store by yourself that takes 20 people to staff and you crushed it that day. Your sales levels were through the roof. I mean, let's be honest, no one's gonna believe the BS. I mean, I don't. Um, and you probably don't yourself. If, if you if you think about it, if you think about it in your head that uh, it's just gonna sound like BS and they're not gonna believe you, you probably should just not say it. So be honest about some weaknesses. I mean, try and keep them down to a minimum. Um, and then try and discuss a, a way you've been working on it, whether you're on your, on your off time you've been reading books on this or whatever to benefit yourself because uh, you as an employer, you as an individual, whether it be at work or wherever, you want to be a well-rounded individual, which is what I've done. I've Things I didn't know, I, I either Google or research or take a course on it. Honestly, it has changed my life dramatically. So go in, not trying to be perfect, give a, show a little bit of your weaknesses, show a little bit of your inside, and show that you're, 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 you're humanity. Um, no one's perfect, I mean, we're humans. Thank you everybody for sticking around this long. Honestly, I appreciate each and every one of you, every single one of you that have subscribed and watched and honestly been there since the very beginning has kept me going along this journey because honestly, with all the other things I'm doing, working 50 hours a week and doing all these things, it is just a lot, but I do it because I, I love the experience and honestly, I hope that I can share some information with you that could possibly prevent you from going down a bad path that I once have myself or just better your situation in general with whatever it may be. With all that being said though, let's get to number one. One, listen to cues of connection. What are cues of connection? Me personally, I love psychology and one of the biggest things they talked to me about or one of the biggest things that really sunk in with me is either it, you can call it the mirror effect or the reptilian effect. Um, it's like if you're sitting across the desk from somebody and they cross their legs. Um, shortly after, I mean, not obviously right away, so it looks weird. Um, you crush your legs as well. For some odd reason, psychologically, there is a a subconscious um, connection that there's an understanding or a it almost builds a level of trust for whatever reason. Um, so as you're in an interview, um, try and connect with them and talk about and find out where they're from. Maybe you, you went to the same school or. Um, maybe you bring your kids the same, um, whatever. I mean, honestly, just, just find connections in any way humanly possible, no matter how far-fetched the connection is, because honestly, those connections can build a trust and relationship with the guy interviewing you, and honestly, that can get you the job. But thank you all for sticking around this long. I appreciate each and every one of you again. Hope everybody's being safe in 2021. Don't forget to give more of these. Subscribe, see you every single week. Oh, one last thing though. When you go to a job interview, do not wear jewelry. I wore this on purpose. I mean, a watch is fine as long as it's classy, but don't wear jewelry in excess. I mean, girls, you can wear earrings, etc. but this, don't wear to an interview, unless it's some religious thing, but Thank you all. That's the end of the video. I was kind of hoping for a good blooper so I could give some give some clickbait, but I want to take drink. I want to take drink. Oh, it is.